Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys are figuring out their plan before the 2024 season, and that includes the future of quarterback Dak Prescott, who is entering the final year of his contract. There has been speculation over whether Dallas will stick with him going forward. Much of the noise indicates that, yes, they will. However, USA Today's KD Drummond suggested a way they could move on from Prescott. It involves trading back from the number 24 pick in the first round with the plan to select star Washington QB Michael Penix Jr. with the 31st overall pick. In this scenario, the Cowboys have Prescott as an in-house bridge to the future. This can play out a few different ways, Drummond wrote on January 30th. More than likely, Prescott plays out the final year of his deal, and then Dallas hands the reins over to Penix in 2025. Perhaps the selection pisses Prescott off to the point that he not only considers waiving his no-trade clause, but demands it. Dallas could then shop Prescott, coming off a TOP3 MVP candidate season, for a bounty of picks. Taking a QB in the first round would be a sensational decision for Dallas. That being said, the Cowboys owner Jerry Jones is famous for moves like the one Drummond described. Michael Penix Jr. finishes second in Heisman voting. There was no shortage of high-quality QB play at the college level in 2023. And of all the impressive displays, only LSU QB Jaden Daniels edged out Penix in the Heisman race. On the back of Penix, Washington not only won the Pac-12 but made an unexpected national championship appearance. Penix totaled 4,903 passing yards and 36 touchdowns. Volume totals are always eye-catching, but he completed 65.4% of his passes and averaged 8.8 .8 yards per attempt. That's absurd, and what's wild is that Penix had a very similar season as a junior, 65.3% completion rate, 4,641 passing yards, 31 touchdowns. The Heisman runner-up was a super senior, who had 21 appearances in four seasons at Indiana before his two seasons with the Huskies. Other QBs seemingly have more potential, but Penix looks like the most complete QB at the college level. If Dallas does decide to move on from Prescott, Penix Jr. may be one of the few prospects who could plug and play. Cowboys have small window to cut Dak Prescott. If Dallas wants to move on from Prescott, a trade makes the most sense. However, they have only a small window in which they can trade or cut Prescott and avoid $34 million of his contract money becoming guaranteed. ESPN's Dan Graziano broke it down, but the essential info is that Prescott's roster bonus locks on March 17. Considering that Dallas can't make any moves with Prescott until the beginning of the league year on March 13, they basically have three to four days to make that decision. If March 17 arrives, it will be a significant sign of the Cowboys' plan for Prescott. It's not impossible to trade the QB after that, but Dallas will be losing money and likely have less suitors. Cowboys Pro Bowler named 2024 cut candidate despite linebacker concerns. The Dallas Cowboys' 2024 offseason will be one to watch, if only to see who potentially gets cut from a stacked roster. There's no shortage of talent on the team, but the need to pay top players and improve further might mean the end of the road for players like linebacker Leighton Van Der Esch. In a January 29 article from Bleacher Report, the 2018 Pro Bowler is named as a cut candidate. It's not a surprise considering his injury issues, which is a shame considering he's played decently. For one, Dallas needs to improve its linebacker core and a defense that has been vulnerable to the run over the past few seasons. Secondly, Van Der Esch has struggled to stay healthy, Christopher Knox wrote. He was limited to five games in 2023 by a neck injury. Van Der Esch was productive when healthy. He logged 30 tackles and a defensive touchdown in his five appearances, but Dallas simply can't count on him to stay on the field. Given his history of neck injuries, Van Der Esch may also have to consider stepping away from football. It would be a tough way to say goodbye, but this is the NFL. Dallas has ridden with LVE longer than some may have expected. Going forward, they have to upgrade their LB play and Van Der Esch probably isn't part of that process. 
Leighton Vander Esch struggles to hit 2018 heights. Vander Esch joined the Cowboys as the 19th overall pick in the 2018 NFL draft. Coming out of Boise State, his 6 foot 4, 256 pound frame was backed up by intelligent and impactful LB play for the Broncos. Right away, he showed his immense potential. LVE totaled 102 solo tackles in 2018 while swatting seven passes and grabbing two interceptions. Besides being a sure tackler, his reading of the NFL pass game was impressive. He made the Pro Bowl as a rookie, while also being named a second-team All-Pro. Vander Esch played well the following season, but two injuries sidelined him for seven games. The second was a nerve-ending problem in his neck, which began a long line of neck issues. There have also been other injuries in the years since, but it's the neck that makes LVE difficult to keep. If there's a chance he shouldn't be playing football, both the player and the Cowboys front office need to consider calling it a day. What Cowboys can save by cutting LVE while Dallas front office can't recoup Vander Esch's entire pay for the 2024 season, they can get about half. Spatrack shows that the 28-year-old is due for a $4.4 million cap hit, and $2.25 million is guaranteed. Still getting $2 million back is a small but useful chunk. Most of the team's draft picks will have a lower salary than that total, so if the Cowboys look to the draft for a new LB it almost lines up perfectly. Further, the Cowboys need the space in general. Dallas is currently overcommitted for 2024 and are set to open the league year $11.5 million over the cap. Parting ways with LVE doesn't fix that outright, but it would certainly help. Proposed trade would send Cowboys QB Trey Lance to Rams. The Dallas Cowboys only just acquired quarterback Trey Lance last offseason, but they could send him back to the NFC West. The former San Francisco 49ers QB is still looking for his next proper chance, and that could be with the Los Angeles Rams. Bleacher reports, complete NFL offseason trade guide, addresses the needs of all teams, including the Rams. They propose a 2024 fifth-round pick for Lance, slotting him as the backup and mentee of Matthew Stafford. Stafford showed that he can still play at a top level in 2023, and he'll return for 2024. However, he'll also turn 36 next month, the article states. It's always good to have a succession plan in place, and Lance would be an intriguing one. The 23-year-old was replaced by Brock Purdy in San Francisco and hasn't seen the field in Dallas. He still possesses an intriguing skill set, though, and could be a fun developmental project in Rams head coach Sean McVay's spacing-based offense. There are no reports or leads that Lance could be traded this offseason, but it is still an interesting idea. After a difficult start with the 49ers and a year on the bench with the Cowboys, Lance is probably looking for the best possible play to learn and get his next chance. Trey Lance traded by 49ers after unfortunate start. San Francisco made a blockbuster move to acquire Trey Lance, trading two first-round picks to the Miami Dolphins in order to take him at number three in the 2021 NFL Draft. Coming out of North Dakota State, Lance was a surprise selection over other members of the QB class. The 49ers were still riding with Jimmy Garoppolo at that point. So, Lance was given a year to develop on the bench. However, an injury to Garoppolo thrust Lance into his first two starts. As Pro Football Reference shows, Lance took advantage of his six total appearances with 603 passing yards, six total touchdowns and two interceptions. There was optimism heading into 2022. Lance was named the team's starter, but a brutal ankle injury in Week 2 immediately sidelined him for the entire season. That led to Purdy's first opportunities, and we all know how that's going. Lance was then traded to Dallas once the 49ers decided on Purdy for 2023. The former NDSU star did not make a single appearance for the Cowboys in 2023. Trey Lance probably not worth it for Cowboys. While Lance is still on his rookie contract, the fact that he was picked at number three overall means the cost in 2024 is pricey for a backup. According to Spatrak, it's not the base salary that is the problem, it's the roster bonus. Lance is due $1.06 million in salary, but will receive a $4.26 million bonus for making the 53-man roster. It's hard to justify $5 million for any backup, but a project like Lance doesn't help. 
If the Cowboys were far under the salary cap limit in 2024, there would be no problem. However, they are already projected to be $11.5 million over the limit. Jerry Jones and the Dallas front office can easily get under that total. But $5 million spent on a backup just isn't efficient.